Alright guys, here we go with video number two. So for this one, once again, um, I have both the Helix and the Axe FX running into my mission cab through the uh, 44 Magnum power amp. So technically the Helix is running into a loop, into an input into the Axe FX, and then it's going to bypass the, uh, I'm going to bypass things as necessary because y'all hear whichever one we need to hear at the moment. So we're going to do three amps. We're going to start off with the uh, Soldano, uh, what is it? SLO 100. Super lead overdrive on its uh, overdrive channel in the Helix, lead channel in the Axe FX. So this is the Axe FX, no pedals. <laughs> Now I'm going to turn on um, the TS-808 models in both the Helix and the Aspex. So this is the Helix. For both, the gain is on 0, tone is on 5, and level is on 10.
there goes amp number one. And uh, so far, I like them fairly equally. Like I said both of the, I have everything on noon in terms of EQ for both of the models. And they both sound great. It seems like the Helix one had a little bit more gain with everything at noon. But I don't know which one's more accurate or anything. And, and like, you got to realize that they model these off of specific amps. So maybe the one that the Helix model just had a little bit more gain. Anyway, on to the next one. All right, here we go with amp number two, which is a uh, Mesa Boogie dual rectifier. We're on the uh, Axe Effects. Turn on the Scream 
All right, super cool. So in that case, I liked the uh, Helix's Uber model better, but to be fair, you have to realize that uh, the Axe FX has a whole, whole bunch more customization options than what I used here, as does the Helix, but the Axe FX has more. So with the Axe FX, you can actually adjust the power amp tube settings, um, the, the type of power amp tubes, like a whole bunch of different stuff that you can't really touch on the Helix. Although the Helix has a few things that you can't do on the Axe FX as well. Um, but still, just looking at them right beside each other, the Axe FX is a good bit more deep. But that said, in terms of just simplicity and dialing in a tone, that was just the Helix's Ubersonic model with everything at five and I really liked it a heck of a lot. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, I'm going to be getting, well, trading my uh, Helix LT for amp in the sh coming days, but as that just showed, the Helix sounds great, and I'm not ready to be totally, to separate myself from the Helix as of yet, so I'm going to pick up either HX Stomp or a Podgo at some point, and that's when I'll continue my Helix versus... Uh, Axe FX videos. Unless any of you have a very specific thing you want to see within the next couple of days, I'll try to make that happen. Pretty much in the next week. But alright, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. Take care and enjoy the rest of your weekend.